Uh, my name is Tony Ferris. I'm from Springfield, Mass. Tattoo artist, uh, kind of like a semi-retired graffiti artist for the most part. Um, you know, do tattoos to get by. Um, sell art, a little bit of everything. Always been an artist. Um, I just drew like my whole life, you know. Started off with robots. Next thing you know, it was buildings, then it was backgrounds, um, then it was graffiti, which was a big part of my life. Still is. Um, and uh, I got tattooed once um, after a couple beers. A buddy of mine kind of talked me into it. I was like, no, nah, I don't want no tattoos, man. That's stupid. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, he, was, uh, he was pretty adamant about it. After a bunch of beers, next thing you know, I got this dude tattooing my leg. And I'm, I'm watching him do it, and I'm like, man, I can do line work just like that. And he, uh, he just kept on saying, nah, I couldn't. So the spite of like, him telling me I couldn't do it was, made me adamant about doing it. Within two years, man, I was tattooing at a shop, you know? First step was uh, kind of just hanging around the tattoo shop, you know, seeing how it went. And I was watching my buddies who were all like, they were all graffiti artists just when it became legal in mass. Uh, I seen them starting to make like a good amount of money, you know, like they always had money in their pockets every day. And uh, I was starting to, 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 do, uh, to do designs for them. And you know, seeing other people get tattooed with my designs and then I was like, I think I'm just gonna start doing this myself. And then after that, you know, uh, it just took over. Uh, it went from, you know, me doing graffiti all the time to me tattooing all the time, and then me doing graffiti sometimes, and then tattooing all the time. You know, uh, making my own designs, uh, pretty much do everything custom, and uh, yeah, it just took over my life, man. It brought me everywhere. Did a small apprenticeship, mostly like learned on my own for the most part. Had a lot of good influences though, a lot of solid people to teach me. Well, I had to, I had to go and watch him. Um, he was a good friend of mine, he always told me I'd be a good, uh, good tattoo artist, but he wasn't really too good at explaining tattoos. I had a lot of questions, but he didn't really have a lot of answers, he just told me to watch and watch. But, uh, you know, I went from him, his name was Junior, now he works in Vegas at Vince Neal's uh, Tattoo Shop. It's actually like a TV show coming out. Um, I had him showing me and then he kind of faded away and started doing his own thing. And then I met this other kid who goes by the name Sugar Bear. Does a lot of old school traditional and Japanese tattooing. Um, I used to drive out to New York from Springfield every day um, for like three or four months just to watch this kid tattoo and like learn from him because he was so serious and professional about it, but I love the attitude he gave off, you know? Made me want, he made me want to be professional and serious about it, you know? And he showed me all the doors I could do, like all the doors that could open up. Just being a tattoo artist, you know, doing legal art instead of illegal art and getting arrested for it all the time, which seemed to be pretty proficient because you know, I've gotten in trouble quite a bit when I was younger with that kind of stuff. I never even thought I wanted tattoos. I was like, I was in school to be an architect and I got tattooed and I was like, next thing you know, I'm just tattooing all the time. It played, played out well very, very good because I took some time off, you know, from school because I didn't really have that much money. Um, and with my time off, I was hanging out at the shop a lot and I was still doing, um, Still doing designs for customers through, with CAD and AutoCAD and everything. Um, and then, like, I don't know, I just kind of stopped going to school and just started learning more about the, um, the tattoo industry and just traveling with it. And like I said, it just kept on stealing me away more and more and more. And next thing you know, I was like just so wrapped up in it, like. I couldn't get out of it if I wanted to. My name is Aaron Foster. Uh, I manage Dark Wave Tattoos, and I also apprentice to Pierce Hair. Uh, a couple years ago, I got a pretty good job and started had a lot of cash flow, so 
decided to get uh, a lot of tattoos. Um, I got addicted real fast. <laughs> and then I started to realize that uh, I should get into an industry that doesn't care the way I, I look. Um, you know, so I worked for Snapple, so they were starting to give me some funny looks when I started coming with a blue arm into the Snapple meetings. So I was like, you know, I've always been interested in, in piercing, I always loved body modification and tattoos. Why don't we try to switch gears here, do something that uh, I can end up looking uh, the way I want to look and not have to worry about wearing a suit to work every day. <laughs> uh, I remember my first tattoo. Uh, my first tattoo I got when I was 18. I rushed out to, and I, at the time it was still illegal in Massachusetts, so I had to drive up to New Hampshire, rushed out to the first shop I could, and pick something off the wall, and get bam, right on the back. <laughs> But then after that, I started um, realizing that, you know, you can get other things besides what's off the wall, and it's really about expressing yourself. Um, and I started involving, you know, a lot of the a lot of things that I love and that I was passionate about in, in my tattoos. Uh, so, like, a lot of the influences that do influence my tattoos are, like, comic books and sci-fi and, like, nerd stuff that I just love. I have uh, my associate's degree. I went to UMass Boston. Um, I did not go for management though, uh, I was an English major. <laughs> uh, this is the school you go to when you want to learn how to pierce. Basically, uh, you are immersed in the environment of it and you see it every day, you're around it every day and you know, it eventually becomes second nature to you after you watch so many piercings, the same piercing over and over and over. Um, the thing about piercing is, is that everybody's body is different, just like tattooing you have to kind of mold it to their body. Um, you know, like the other day, for instance, some chick came in, got a nose pierced, but her nostrils was extremely small. Had, the piercer had to bend the, the nostril screw to fit exactly to her nose, because everybody's different. The best way to get started in this industry is to get tattooed and get pierced. Um, the more you're around it, the more you uh, understand it. Um, you know, when I, when I first started getting tattooed, I didn't really understand what was possible and what was not possible. You know, over time, my understanding has expanded exponentially. Um, you know, that's basically how I got involved, was I was getting lots of tattoos at this shop. Um, and I became good friends with the guy who was tattooing me, and uh, they had a op position open, He was, and I was like, hey, you know, I was like, you know, I want to be involved in this industry. Help me, help me out here. <laughs> and you know, that's uh, the best way to get involved is to get tattooed and get pierced. You know, it's not, I don't feel it. like some people say, oh, you know, it's like you wasted your time, you know, going to college because you could have just gone right into it. It's like, that's not the way I look at it. I mean, um, I've educated myself quite a bit. And then, um, you know, that's just life, man. It takes time to figure out what you want to do, you know. It's like, that was the hardest thing for me to figure out was what I wanted to do with my life and how I wanted to earn money for the rest of my life. Um, when I finally realized that, you know, I wanted to be a piercer and I wanted to be involved in the body modification industry, um, it made it a lot easier, <laughs> you know, because when I was in college, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. You know, I still had a couple years left and I was just sitting there lost, um, didn't really have any idea what I was going to do after I got done, you know. But uh, once you figure it out, it makes, uh, it makes your goals a little, a lot clear, a lot more clear cut. Keep that dream alive, you know. Just keep going to shops, keep drawing, drawing designs, bring them to tattoo shops, ask for uh, apprenticeships. They're expensive, but it's worth it, man. It's kind of like going to college, you know. It's just a, a personal college. You end up hanging out a lot with that, that tattoo artist and learning about how they live and how they draw and how they, how they do their art. Get somebody that's really good, have them teach you, you know, be humble, don't be a jerk, and uh, take it from there and see where it goes, man. Next thing you know, doors are opening up everywhere and you almost have so many options that you don't know which ones to take.
like he left them with a split abdomen. Damn it, so many thoughts I'm thinking, flipping, try to ponder. He a goner, was it wrong intentions? 